However, we add the value. Hi, I'm Matt with Weber. Proper equipment cleaning is one of the most important issues facing our industry today. We produce this video to demonstrate an implementation of an industry standard for effectively steaming equipment. The tools and supplies we used were for a Weber Slicer 903. The supplies and source of steam you'll need will depend on the type of equipment you're steaming and what's available at your location. The goal is to heat the equipment to about 160 degrees for approximately 30 minutes. Let's get started. These are the items that we used to prepare for the steaming and create the steam pipe assembly. Strong duct tape, box cutters and zip ties, temperature gauges, digital temperature logger, large binder clips, spring clamps, six millimeter air hose and couplings, two flexible gas hoses, one half inch steel pipes and joints, six mil plastic sheeting. This is not specific instructions, but what we used for a Weber Slicer 903. Drill holes approximately 18 inches apart in the steel pipes. Choose a pattern for a nice, even distribution of the steam. Take your own measurements and configure a steam pipe assembly for your specific equipment. Once assembled, place the steam pipe assembly on your equipment. Here you see the flexible gas hoses attached to the end of the steam pipe assembly and which also supplies steam to the front of the machine. Here is the finished pipe assembly in use. Here are the steps to steam your slicer after it has been properly cleaned and sanitized. Remove the blade and front conveyors. After removing the front plate, cover or plug any openings that would allow steam to penetrate the interior. Open the electrical cabinets. To pressurize the electrical cabinets, we installed temporary air hoses with T-connectors. We did this because we wanted to prevent the heat and steam from entering the electrical cabinets. Here is an example of using the zip ties to secure the hoses in the main electrical cabinet. Here again, we are plugging openings after the air hoses have been installed. Remember to seal the opening of the interior spindle housing. Once all air hoses and openings have been sealed, close all electrical cabinets, but leave the spindle housing open to allow steam to penetrate. Here is the connection we used to attach the steam hose to the steam assembly unit. Make sure to firmly secure the loose ends of the steam hoses. Next, cover your machine with the 6 mil plastic sheeting, working from top to bottom to avoid contamination. One of the keys for success is to seal the machine thoroughly, which will allow the temperature to rise faster and prove for a more efficient steaming process. The better you seal, the faster the process will take. 
Trim the excess plastic and use the duct tape to secure it to the equipment. Make sure to seal around any external hose outlets. Your specific equipment may require a different procedure for thoroughly sealing. Your specific equipment may require a different procedure for thoroughly sealing. If there are any external operating panels or user interfaces, make sure they are not steamed. Binder clips may also be used to seal any opening. Warning, use extreme caution while operating with steam. Steam can reach scalding temperatures and severe burns can occur. Always wear proper safety gear. Don't forget to supply air pressure to the temporary hoses. We were successful with 90 PSI. Then, slowly start supplying steam and increase the pressure. This is what it looks like under the plastic during the steaming process. Monitor the internal temperature to maintain 160 degrees for approximately 30 minutes. This will allow the equipment to heat up evenly. After approximately 30 minutes, shut off the steam supply. Before cutting open the plastic, allow for an appropriate cool-down period and remove the plastic using proper safety equipment. When removing the plastic, slice open at the top, allowing it to peel away from the machine to prevent contamination. Once the plastic sheeting has been removed, disassemble and clear the temporarily installed equipment. Don't forget to remove the material used to plug the equipment openings. After a successful steaming, 
Follow your sanitation standards before the machine goes back into production. As you can see, if done properly, cabinet pressurizing keeps the cabinet dry. Weber. We add the value. Visit us online at weberslicer.com.